Hey there, Crossroads Fellowship. Thank you for taking just a few minutes to watch this video. Like me, I know many of you have been watching the news and seeing what has been unfolding around our country and right here in our own city. I've been reminded time and time again over the last couple of days of why it is so important for me and you to be the church. I've been so grateful since the beginning of all the shutdown that church has not been closed and the services have not been canceled. That everywhere you and I go, we are the church and we bring the church with us. I've also been very grateful for our online campus. It's been such a great tool to use to stay connected, to deliver the gospel. Can I tell you that there have been so many people through the online campus that have accepted Jesus over the last three months. It's been beautiful to see what's happening. But like you, I also miss seeing you. I also miss having you here in the building. One of the questions we've been asked most recently has been, when are we going to reopen? You know, we've been saying from day one that we would not reopen until we knew we could do so safely. Your health and my health and our safety is of highest concern. We want to be able to maintain strict social distance guidelines. So my team and I, we've been working almost from the beginning about what does a phased re-entry approach look like to come back to church? Well, I'm excited to announce to you that our first Sunday back to the building will be Sunday, June 21st. Now listen, I know for some of you, we should have already opened. For others of you who hear this right now, you're thinking we should wait one, two, maybe even three more months. And I do appreciate everybody's opinion. I really do. We've waited all, we've prayed, we've worked hard behind the scenes to create a plan that we feel is good. For the Wake Forest campus and for the Millbrook campus, we believe that we've got great plans in store. At the Millbrook campus, because of the size of our hallways and the size of our three large rooms, that we believe that we could do so with very good, healthy, safe, strict social distance guidelines and be able to open up the building well. Now listen, it's gonna look different. We're not gonna have kids ministry or student ministry. There will be no classes, groups, or teams. In fact, I want you to be paying attention over the next two weeks. We're gonna be sending more videos and more emails and more social media about what re-entry actually looks like. At the Wake Forest campus, for the very opposite reasons, we are not going to open the building at this time. The Wake Forest campus sanctuary is smaller. The hallways are more narrow. However, we've got something special planned for Wake Forest. Starting on June 21st, Wake Forest will have drive-in church in the back parking lot. We've acquired the gear and the technology we need for you to be able to tune in on your radio and have church together. Again, it's gonna look different. It's gonna feel different, but it is so important for us to gather together as the church that we feel that it's just time to do so. So again, on Sunday, June 21st, we will be reopening the Millbrook campus for indoor worship. At the Wake Forest campus, June 21st, we will be doing a drive-in church. For those of you who feel that you cannot come back yet, for those of you that feel that you are in a high-risk category or just don't feel safe or that it's time to come back, you can still enjoy an incredible online experience that is not going away. So for those of you who feel that you can come back and do so safely, we welcome you back on June 21st at our buildings. For those of you that want to stay home, by all means, stay home and enjoy it and connect with us online. I know you got a lot of questions. I know you probably got a lot of concerns. This is why we wanted to get this information out today. And we're gonna be following it over the next two plus weeks with what to do when you come back and how it's actually going to work. We've got a great plan that I really believe that you'll appreciate. As I end this video, I want to draw our attention to prayer. I believe so powerfully in prayer, I really do. And what we're seeing happen in the world around us right now requires us not only to take action and not only to speak up and to stand up, but I hope that in the middle of all of that, that we don't forget to be people of God first and that we don't forget that we can go and approach God's throne with confidence in prayer. And so I wanna call us to prayer, not just right now, but I wanna pray daily. I want you to agree with me right now that you will just agree in prayer with me that God would heal our city, that God would heal those that are brokenhearted, that God would heal people who might not look like me that are experiencing this in a very different way, in a very different reality that I am. I love our church. 
and I love the fact that we can come back to this building and I celebrate that and I think it's so important and so needed. But let us not forget that there's real hurt and real pain that a lot of people are feeling right now. And so at the end of this video, I hope that you'll just pause for a few moments and just lift up our church, lift up our city, lift up your brothers and sisters in prayer.